All right. I'm going to level with you guys. This account is bad. This account is like really bad. So I guess you're wondering why I'm telling you this super stacked account that I have is bad. <laughs> As you can see, there are so, so many inconsistencies along the character selection here. So we've got, you know, Deluke super maxed out, super, you know, everything. I put everything I had into Deluke and I, I still have some levels to go, but um, it's good. I mean, that's fine. Like he takes care of the content that I need him to take care of. But when it comes to Abyss, I'm, I'm heading towards, you know, um, floor five and I don't have a second team to run because I have, you know, I, I, I mean, I do have a second team to run, but it's not good. It's, it's not going to get the job done. Um, don't do the things that I did early on in the game. I spent like crazy. I leveled up stupid stuff that didn't even need to be leveled up. It just was not good for me. It was, it wasn't good for where I'm at right now. A game like this, you have to put into things very, very carefully. Like all these weapons uh, I leveled up. Yeah, I need them. They're, they're on characters, but like this one right here, I could have just left out alone. Um, this one I could have left alone. This one I could have left alone. This one I could have left alone. I, there's just a bunch of weapons that I honestly just should have left alone. And that would have saved me thousands and thousands of Mora, thousands and thousands of experience. And it's very wasteful. So going forward, going forward from here on out, I will only be putting into what I can get the most out of. Let's not even, oh my God, let's not even talk about artifacts. Look at all these low level artifacts, plus 12, plus 12, plus 12, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. I mean, I put so much into these three stars, which I knew I shouldn't because I'm, I, I'm coming from Epic seven. So, I mean, and honestly, I didn't even need these to get content done. I just did it just to see how much, you know, I could push my damage nine times out of 10. All of these are going to be scrapped. All of them, all of them. It's 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 just wasteful don't be like me don't be wasteful with your artifacts make sure that you are leveling up the ones that need to be leveled up um if they give you bad substats um defense on anything except for noel is bad maybe ningguang probably want more attack on ningguang but if you're putting defense on anything else and it rolls defense then it's bad for everyone except for Noel. So just keep that in mind when you're rolling your gear, making sure that your rolls are being sufficient. So like, uh, let me see, like this one. This has attack percent, but it's got defense percent and defense flat and energy recharge. If I were to go one more roll on this, it would probably give me something like health. It's not a good goblet. It's just not. Please do not make the mistakes that I've been making while rolling my gear and um, just wasting resources because you come to soon find out your resources are very, very finite. I can't wait for the next patch so I can explore more to get more resources and be frugal with my resources. That's my whole thing. That, that's, that's the thing that I'm saying out of all of this. Please be frugal with your resources. Let's look at my team composition. I have a mixed bag of a lot of things that I, I want to get done, but I can't because I squandered all my resources. <laughs> so look, all right. Um, I can't even call any of these my main teams. I really just swap out whenever I need. But um, if I were being accurate, I would say this is the main team that I use to basically do clear most of the content in the game. Say for instance, I'm going up against, Pyro against Pyroregistine. Um, I would probably use a team like this. So this would be a great team for Pyroregistine. Um, the only thing is, 
these characters, aside from Razor, Razor is was the DPS I was using before I pulled Deluke. Um, Razor is probably the strongest on the team. Official would be support. Mona would be um, miscellaneous damage because she's not really built like I want her. She's really, Mona's very mysterious in the way that I, I want to build her. I don't know if I want to go elemental mastery or if I want to go just straight attack. I'm not sure. Uh, her her damage is very up and down, if that makes any sense. And Barbara's just Barbara. Barbara's my resident healer. She does everything that I need her to do. So Barbara's cool on that front. Um, this team is just maximum damage. Um, my Zhongling, she is fully constellationed out. I don't have any problems with her. Um, like I say, resources, I can't. Resources are are very, very, very minimal um, from, you know, what I'm doing now. I really was just spending like I I had a bottomless pit for, for Mora and I just don't. And as well as resources, if you look at if you look at my weapons, I don't have any extras like I, I really just don't have room to improve anything. So um, these four stars, I definitely want to keep. But keep in mind, if you pull a four star weapon, make sure you want to keep using it. Make sure you're getting it done like this. I already had Dragon's Bane and we all know that Zhang Ling is the only um, she's the only pole user in the game right now. It wasn't smart for me to even try to level this up just to see what it does. It, it Dragon's Bane is 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 her. It's it's her thing. It's fully maxed out. There was no reason for me to do this at all. So um, just keep in mind, if you pull a four star, make sure you use the four star that you're leveling up. Um, I cannot stress that enough. If you are trying to maybe have an interest in leveling up a character, make sure your other teams are good. Make sure that they can be utilized in a, you know, late game capacity, I should say. My priorities right now are obviously Deluke, Sucrose, um, Razor, and Fischl. Uh, Fischl is probably the main unit that I need to get everything going on because her damage was cool for like, for like 25 to 30. But now like, I really haven't put anything into her and I need to get her hitting harder. So she, she's kind of failing for me when I need her to succeed where I need her to succeed. Um, after that would definitely be Zhang Ling. I really just need to level her up and level up her artifacts. But like I said, all that wastefulness in the beginning of the game really put me at a disadvantage right now because it's just not feasible to do anything with her. So for the last time, do not make the same mistakes that I made going into this game. Do not pour all your resources all over the place. You definitely want to get your ducks in a row. It does not pay to, to spread yourself this thin. I know pulling five stars are great. I know pulling five stars are amazing, but you really have to focus on your team comps because I say, these materials are not infinite. They are finite and you will find yourself pigeonholed in a situation to where it's going to be much harder for you to get out of. Um, like I put myself in, like I said, I can still do content. I can still do, you know, what I need to get done, but I got so excited in the hype of building these characters just to see what they can do when I should have been paying attention to my team composition and making sure that team composition can clear what I needed to, to clear at that moment in time. So don't do like I did. I'm going to be moving in a totally different way going forward. But yes, just um, just be aware that uh, that is a thing and it's not uh, uh, it's not a good thing to be pigeonholed like this, but we will overcome it. We will get out of this rut and I will be able to showcase a lot more different things going forward. OK, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys for, for listening. If this helps you out at all, go ahead and comment down in the comment section, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and we're going to move forward in a much more optimal way with this account. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's been your boy, Mikey J and the mother of place to be. And as always guys, peace.